Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I got the Roswell FBMX2 case, which is really a micro ATX case, also takes mini ATX. And I'm gonna show you guys how to go from this to that, to putting a full-size ATX motherboard in there. So this is actually a pretty cool case. It was really cheap. It looks decently nice. I like that it has like a metallic part here that you could take out, take out the dust and stuff has USB 3.0, USB 2.0 at the top. I don't know, it, for, for its price, it's pretty good. So let's get started. You pretty much just need a drill, uh, with the drill bit, obviously. And if you wanna dust out the parts, you can also use this uh, data vac, which I've used in the past to clean out my computer, but it's a very powerful thing. So let's get started. So pretty much pulled that out. So this thing is actually blocking the ATX case from fitting in. So, but the problem is this isn't really screwed in or bolted in. It's basically connected with these. So you essentially have to drill this, drill that, drill that, drill that, and in the back, drill these two. And once you do that, you could pop this part out and then you'll actually get this case and then you can actually fit the uh, regular size ATX case but unfortunately you can't put the screws here but one thing you also have to do is you also have to drill a hole here as well and put the screw in so you can have another screw in with the motherboard so it keeps it more secure but let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Again, you wanna drill these two right here. So I start with this side first. So just put the drill in the center. And I'm gonna use my hand here for support, but obviously don't put your fingers anywhere near where you're gonna drill. But I'm just holding this just cause this part is a, a bit flimsy. So. There it is. Okay, so it's pretty much out of that. And just to protect the bottom, really the top of the case, I should say. We're also gonna drill these four, which are holding it in place. So same type of deal. Okay, so there you go, we took out that part. I'm gonna flip this over. And, okay, so now that we did that, I'm just gonna use this data vac to basically blow out the parts. Be careful with the fan, don't blow this on the fan, you can actually mess up the fan. Okay, so to save some time, I'm gonna show you guys that I've already done this. So, so again, so once you remove this part, now the ATX actually does fit. So we're gonna put this to the side. So you basically got this, except I've actually already attached these little screw holder things. And all I did was, in addition to just attaching these, I also drilled a small hole here. And I attached another, I screwed in another one. Unfortunately, this part's open, so you can't screw in this size of the ATX. You can't screw in over here, obviously, because it's open. I don't think that's actually necessary because you're not gonna be touching this. There's mo more than an ample amount of screws holding in the motherboard. So yeah, so once you pop that in, get the final motherboard and then this is a full-size ATX motherboard and you could pop it in and you could see as I said these two are not screwed in so so this one here and this this hole here because obviously that parts open so you can't actually screw it in um, but everything else is pretty much screwed in and it fits perfectly and you get this part all your peripherals, everything's good to go. 
And yeah, you can install your video card, whatever you want to do. I already got a RAM stick in there. And this is a pretty cheap way of uh, getting a full-size ATX case inside this desktop case, which is, again, really cheap and also saves a lot of space. So, yeah. And one other thing to note, you need to get an SFX size power supply. Uh, the reason being is if you get a normal size power supply, it's actually going to kind of jam in your motherboard from here. So you want to avoid that. So they have smaller size power supplies that are going to fit into here. So you could get a smaller size and it wouldn't bother the motherboard. Otherwise, it's going to like kind of push in the motherboard, which is what you want to avoid. So I'll put links in the descriptions below. Hopefully this helps. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to all my current subscribers. And if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section below.